welcome to another Nights of Horror video. Today we're going to be going over the Dark Harbor ticketing options because there's a lot of options going on there. And by the way, I'm Hayes, if you didn't already know. Um, so your standard GA ticket is going to range from $39.99, which I'm going to be rounding up in the rest of the video. So $40 to $60 plus a $6 service fee. Uh, that's just standard entry ticket. No parking, no extras. Uh, the next ticketing option is going to be your Fright Fast. That's going to be from $68 to $88, depending on the night that you want to go, with an $8 fee. After that, for better ticket options, you're going to have Evil Express. That is also going to include the Observation Deck, the Exclusive Bar Area, and photo ops that most people aren't going to get access to, along with character pop-ups in that Observation Deck. Um, those are going to range from $120 to $140 with a $9 service fee. The most expensive ticketing option is going to be your VIP option. That's going to range from $150 to $170 and a $10 fee. That's going to include your Evil Express, Early Entry, which is something that we'll talk about in a second, an exclusive Captain's Club, the Observation Deck with everything that they have to offer, which was the exclusive bar pop-up pictures, and I believe character pop-ups. Along with, you're also going to get the Lady Mabel's Speakeasy Foresight 4-pack <laughs> experience and 13% off any merch along with digital photo access. So that's for your VIP package there. So as I just kind of started saying a second ago, early entry this year is something that they're going to be doing for Dark Harbor and it's going to be a $10 um, add-on. They also have flex entry, which is going to be anytime after 8, and that's going to be a $5 extra cost. Uh, if you're going to go with just the regular standard GA price, the $40 to $60 plus the $6 service fee, you're going to have to choose a time slot to go to the event, which is something new that Dark Harbor has never done before. So with a standard GA ticket, I don't think we're going to be gaining entry until 8.08. .08. That's going to be the maiden voyage every night. So I believe that's going to be the standard entry time. If you do get that early entry, I believe you're going to be entering at 7 o'clock. And you'll kind of like already have a spot for Maiden Voyage unless there's other things to do during early entry. Which I'm sure some of the bars will be open and stuff like that because Dark Harbor is known for having bars open almost as soon as you arrive. So that's always great. <laughs> some of the extras that you can include though on your online ticketing option as just a la carte options are going to be the Lady Mabel's Summoning Sam, and essentially you're going to be summoning Sam the Savage, so let's see how that goes. Uh, another option that they have is the Foresight 4-pack, and that's also going to be with Lady Mabel. That's going to give you some of the tokens to get into some of these exclusive speakeasies, and that's going to be a $10 extra, as, as well as the Lady Mabel's Summoning. Uh, that's also going to be $10. There's a Pirate Splendor Shootout. I don't know too much more about that. It's Pirate Splendor Shootout. <laughs> I'll have to check it out when we get there. This is not something that we added on to ours, but there are some things that we did decide to add on. There's also going to be Anchor Axe Throwing. Um, I think that this is really cool. You know, being able to throw axes and be right there at the Queen Mary, that's like super cool. Anyways, the next thing that they're going to have to offer is the S'mores pack for $8. Oh, and axe throwing is $7. Sorry, I forgot to say. And the Pirate Splendor Shootout is going to be $10 as well. So the S'mores pack, back to that, is going to be essentially a s'mores for you. Just one s'more for yourself. It's going to be $8. And they do allow you to add extras just in case you're traveling with a group or maybe you just want two for yourself. Who knows? I don't think I'm going to be able to pass up on it, so hopefully this isn't something that you can only pre-order and we'll be able to get one inside because we didn't add it onto our ticket and we probably should have. The last add-on is going to be your album access. Digital album access is going to be $5 and that's pretty self-explanatory. Digital album access, I'm pretty sure there's going to be people taking pictures and different photo op opportunities throughout the night. Another new to Dark Harbor is going to be rides. Um, we did have the Sinister Swings back in the day, and I believe it was $5 to ride, but I'm not quite sure. So 
this year we're gonna have the Sinister Swings back and it's gonna be $10 to ride. We're gonna have a Scary Mary Ghost Rider Carousel. So that sounds super fun. I may have to give it a go. That's also gonna be $10. There's gonna be a new ride called the Black Widow. I'm not exactly sure what that is. It just essentially says that it's gonna be a spinny ride. Uh, also $10. And then we have the Rampage Double Wheel, which I love the name of it. Uh, that's going to be, it, it, well, I'm not sure what it's going to be. It's described as a one of a kind, like literally one of a kind, only this one in the entire Western USA. So I'm super excited to see what that's going to be. And like I said, I'm loving the name Rampage Double Wheel. That sounds so cool. So all these rides are going to be $10 a piece, or you can buy a ride pass for $30. One of the other extras that you can purchase with your ticket is going to be your parking. They do have off-site parking for $30, but like I said, this is off-site. In the past, they used to shuttle people over your, or even do ferries up until a certain time. Uh, the ferries, I heard, would be kind of cold. I'm not exactly sure how this works. I didn't do it in the past. I would always park on-site or I would get dropped off, but mo majority of the time I was parking on site and I would just get there super early. But that was because I was taking somebody to work and you know, we're not doing that these days. So we did go ahead and purchase the $40 preferred parking just because we don't have to, we don't want to have to worry about traveling through a shuttle or ferry or anything like that after a long night of haunting. So yeah. I would suggest the $40 on site, but it's going to be kind of small capacity, I would assume. One of the other features, if you want to super go all out, all out are going to be your cabanas. There are 10 by 10 cabanas, and there are two different views the fire view and the festival view. So, with the fire view, you're going to get a view of the fire stage. With the festival view, I believe you're just going to get more of a broad range of the event itself going on. You probably will be able to see more stages, but I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work. And they also do have the Ringmaster's Twisted Corner Combo. That's going to be both views and obviously more expensive. But you'll get one view of the fire stages and one view of the festival. And that's going to be two 10x10s and not just one. That's why it's called a corner suite. So let's go back to the singles <laughs> the singles are going to be three hundred dollars it's going to be one 10 by 10 you're going to get allowed up to six people inside that 10 by 10 and you're going to get a hundred and twenty five dollar food credit or beverage credit and um there is a slight difference on the sides the festival side is going to be three hundred dollars as to the fire side is going to be 350 I would have to assume just because people do love watching the fire performers, so if fire performers are really something that you enjoy watching, I would highly suggest dishing out the extra $50. They do have a lot of performances going- well, they did have a lot of performances going on. A lot of the things that I'm referencing are back from 2019. I was a huge fan uh, from going my first year on after that. I just kept going, couldn't get enough of it. Each year I would have to go more and more times. So when I do reference things, it's from the past years, not from this year. I'm not working the event, nor do I have any intel from inside the event. So I'm just going off of speculation from the years past, which maybe isn't a great thing, but I'm really hoping that 13th Floor brings back all the Dark Harbor vibes, because I super. Oh, 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 oh,